BRF Plus excels in providing very flexible framework that enables you to customize your business rules with many degrees of freedom. Another aspect where BRF Plus provides great flexibility is the customization of the framework itself. Various features in the display can be shown or hidden from sight. Generally speaking, the more sophisticated the user, the more features the user wants to be displayed. The personalization of the display can be accessed by the personalization button. There are two standard user modes. One for expert users and the simple mode for the rest. Each one can be further modified. The difference between the two modes is merely the value that each option is given, but the options themselves are exactly the same for each one of them. The options are arranged by categories. Each category has its own tab. For example, I can affect the navigational panel such that it will show my favorite objects as a default. There are relatively many configurations that you can play with and most of them are self-explanatory. In this lecture, I want to mention just a couple of them that I think are more important. I will start with the expression tab. In this tab, we control some expression-oriented features. Actually, we can customize only the decision table expression and the rule set object. From all the presented configurations, I think the more valuable are the following. First, there is the ability to decide on how many columns are presented on the screen without the need to scroll. The optimal value is determined by your screen size and resolution, but I found that the optimal number is around the number 10. Too little and you won't see the entire table, which can be quite annoying. Too much and the table becomes too dense and noisy. Another nice feature is the ability to show next to each line its row number. On the rule set side, I like setting the number of rules expanded to zero. This way, when you first enter to a rule set, you see only the description of each rule, which is far less noisy than when they are all opened. You can then, of course, open any rule that is of interest at that particular moment. I also like showing the rule set header at all times. Since the header is where you maintain your rule set variables, which, as already mentioned, is a very important feature in the rule set object and in BRF Plus in general. The next configurations I want to talk about are located in the general tab. First, I think you can save a lot of clicks on the edit button by changing the viewing mode to change mode. Also, I like the general section to be expanded at all times. But the most important configuration here is the one called Show Technical Aspects. When set on, this option unlocks several tabs related to more technical notions like versioning and code generation that are important for the next lectures. You can experiment with all of the other configurations and see what is the best combination for you. Let's go on to talk about those technical tabs that are now open.